Would you rather be anyone but you? This is Watch Tayo, and I'm going to review Wreck It Rap. Wreck-It Ralph is the villain in a 30-year-old arcade game entitled Fix-It Felix. Time comes however when Ralph got sick and tired of being the bad guy. Ayaw na niyang maging kontrabida. Naingit kasi siya kay Fix-It Felix who is the darling of Nice Land. He is celebrated but Ralph is left in his junkyard uninvited to and rejected from the Nice Land parties. So Ralph sets on a quest to be the good guy. Kaya nilayasan niya ang Fix-It Felix arcade game at lumipat siya sa ibang daro para patunayang kaya niyang magbago. He meets Vanellope in his escape to the Sugar Rush arcade game and there together they discovered aspect of them that they've never known before. Listen, I try to be nice. I try to be nice. You're mimicking You're me. You're mimicking me. Okay. That is rude, and this conversation is over. Ralph is like many of us. Unhappy with who we are? Don't you just hate yourself? Unhappy with what we do? Don't you just hate your job? And sometimes we think, I would rather be anyone but me. Sana ako si Brad Pitt. Or sana ako si Zac Efron. Or sana ako si Manny Pacquiao. In Ralph's case, his discontentment is for some good reason. He doesn't want to be the bad guy anymore. For once in his life, he wants to prove that he can also be a hero. That messing things up isn't the only thing he is capable of doing. That is dissatisfaction in a good way. In the first place, we're all imperfect beings who need a lot of changing. But acknowledging that we need help is just the first step. The difficult next step is the actual transition. Ralph had difficulty becoming a good guy because he was designed to be a bad guy. In a way, we can relate with Ralph in that we are born in sin. God's original design for us is for goodness, but sin corrupted us. Thus, we are powerless to change ourselves. Change from the inside out, that's impossible. Lasting transformation, don't count on it. Our sin glitch humanity is incapable of generating lasting change. That's why God is the only hope for salvation. The Apostle John characterizes people who live in sin as slaves of sin. But in Romans chapter 6, we discover that the way to freedom is the righteousness that comes from Christ. The biggest obstacle for Ralph's desired transformation are the people or the video game characters around him. Hindi sila naniniwalang kayang magbago ni Ralph. Yeah, people can be terrible. What's good about Ralph is that he didn't allow people's opinions to discourage him. With the motivation of helping Vanellope solve her problem, Ralph was able to prove that change is possible. What I didn't like about the movie is its ambiguity about the concept of what's bad and what's good. May kalabuan ang presentasyon ng pelikula tungkol sa identity ni Ralph. In a counseling session he had with other video game villains like M. Bison and King Koopa, they recited some sort of of a villain group motto that goes like this I'm bad and that's good I will never be good and that's not bad there's no one I'd rather be than me simply put I'm on the right track baby I was born this way apparently Ralph held on so tightly to that motto so that even when he was already going to accomplish something so heroic he still recited that motto sending mixed signals to the audience so now he is the bad guy who becomes the good guy who is still a bad guy making him the good bad guy. Labo. Sana lang naging mas klaro pa ang pelikula tungkol sa pagpili sa pagitan ng pagiging mabuti at pagiging masama. Because in this life, it's either we choose good over evil or the other way around. In the eyes of the world, there might be some ambiguity as to what differentiates one from the other. But in the eyes of God, bad is bad and good is good. Oh.